Hey, this is Eric with Web App Reviews, where we highlight the best Chrome web apps and extensions for education. Now, normally in the videos we are reviewing web apps, but in this one we're going to take a moment and explain just what web apps are, how to install them, and how to use them. So let's start off with what is a web app? Well, basically a web app is a program that runs inside of your web browser. In the old days, if you wanted to use a program, you would install it on your computer, and then you'd have to be at that specific computer if you wanted to use the program. Well, with web apps, though, it doesn't matter what computer you're using since the programs run on the web. Now, you probably already use many web apps and maybe don't even think about it. For example, Gmail is a web app. It lets you manage your email entirely online. And so is Google Drive. There you can create documents and presentations and spreadsheets and more all right inside of your web browser. So how do you find and install web apps? Well, if you're using Google Chrome for your web browser, which I hope you are using, uh, the place you're going to want to go to is the Chrome Web Store. So let's explain how to get there. All right, so let's say I'm in my browser here. To get to the Chrome Web Store, what I want to do is start by just opening up a new tab. So I'll open up a new tab, and that will show whatever web apps I've already got installed, but I'll also see an icon there for the Chrome Web Store. So I'll go ahead and give a click on that, and that will open up the Chrome Web Store. Now you could also get to the Chrome Web Store through the direct address, which is chrome.google.com slash web store. Well, either way, we are there now. And so what you want to do is try to find some web apps that you think might be useful to you. You could come up here and do a search. That would work. You can go through uh, the popular web apps, or you can come down here into the categories and choose things like education or productivity or whatever you might be looking for. For this example, let's stay with education since uh, that's a main focus of what we're doing with web app reviews. And you can see I've got all kinds of things with graphing calculators, and we've got some typing programs, and on and on and on. Um, let's use GeoGebra as our example. That is a um, interactive geometry uh, web app. So what you would do at this point is you could just give a click right here on GeoGebra, and it's going to open up this window where you can find out more about it. You can see screenshots, you can read details about exactly what it does, you can read reviews of what other people think about it. There's even a related tab to see other web apps that if you like GeoGebra, these ones might be as well. Well, we're going to say that we want to go ahead and install GeoGebra. So up in the top right-hand corner, there's a blue Add to Chrome button. Now note, if that's not there, if it doesn't say that, it might say sign in. Um, you do have to be signed into your Google account, so just log into Gmail uh, to be able to add these web apps. So you do need to be signed in to do this. Um, I already am, so I'll just go ahead and click on Add to Chrome, and it's going to ask me, do you want to do this? I'll say, yep, I'll hit Add, and there we go. On my new tab screen where I've got all of my apps, now GeoGebra has been added as a new app. Now, if this does fill up, if you get a whole bunch of apps, you see you can move right and left and scroll through to get to other pages of apps, and you can move them around. I can grab them and drag them and put them wherever I want them to be. All right. So that's how you install a web app. Now, how do you use them? Well, basically, it's nothing more than opening up your new tab button so that you have um, all your apps here, scroll through to find the app you want, and give it a click. So we'll go ahead and give GeoGebra a click. Now this is the first time I've ever used it, and so a lot of times you will get something like this with an app. It'll ask for permission, and it may be needing to access Google Drive so it can store files or need other permissions there. And that's where you'd go ahead, read through that, make sure that seems fine, and go ahead and click Allow Access. And at that point, the program will launch right inside of your browser, and now you are using that web app inside of your browser. Um, now, besides starting them through the new tab button, you can also, and we'll go ahead and 
pull this up and show you. You can also start some of them from Google Drive itself, like GeoGebra is an example. It integrates with Google Drive, meaning that it can save files that you create into your drive. Because of that, if I come in here and click on the red Create button, you'll see in addition to creating my normal documents, I can also launch GeoGebra right from Google Drive. So that's another way that you can launch some of your web apps, depending upon which ones do integrate with Google Drive. Now, of course, if you decide later on you don't want a web app, you could always open up the New Tab button again, find all of your apps. You could do a right click on GeoGebra, and I could say, you know, I really don't want that anymore. I could choose Remove from Chrome, and I'll say, Are you sure? And I'll hit Remove, and there it is. It's gone as simple as that. Well, hopefully, that gives you a good overview of what web apps are, how to find them, how to install them, how to run them, and how to remove them if you need to. Be sure to visit. Our, our site, webappreviews.org, so you can see all of our reviews of lots and lots of different web apps as well as web extensions and see how they can be used in education. Thanks so much for watching.